Canon's rumored EOS R6 Mark III is back in the spotlight, making waves once again in the photography community. Recent chatter suggests that the camera has entered the final stages of testing, a signal that while it is not immediately imminent, it is moving closer to release. With no official specs or release date confirmed, speculation remains rampant. Trusted sources indicate the camera is in the hands of someone close to Canon, suggesting its existence is genuine. However, this also highlights the ongoing uncertainty. While we hope this next full-frame mirrorless release is the R6 Mark III, Canon could equally introduce an updated APS-C model instead. The ambiguity surrounding Canon's roadmap adds complexity to the discussion. There are rumors that Canon plans at least one major announcement before the end of 2025. This could involve the EOS R6 Mark III, or it might be an updated APS-C camera such as the R7 Mark II or R10 Mark II. Given these possibilities, enthusiasts are left wondering what Canon will prioritize, a full-frame flagship or incremental APS-C updates. These uncertainties underscore a common challenge when following camera leaks. Rumors often cycle repeatedly, slightly modified with each new report, much like a Groundhog Day scenario where familiar information reappears over and over. Despite the lack of confirmed specs, Canon Rumors has indicated that the EOS R6 Mark III could feature a new 32-megapixel sensor, reportedly the same one used in the recently announced Canon C50 cinema camera. Utilizing this sensor would allow Canon to leverage economies of scale while delivering a meaningful increase in resolution over the R6 Mark II. A 32-megapixel sensor would provide oversampled 4K video and a boost in overall image quality positioning the camera to compete directly with Nikon C6 Mark III and reclaim leadership in the full-frame mirrorless segment. While there is no official word on final specifications, it is encouraging that someone within Canon's ecosystem reportedly has the camera in their possession. This confirms the EOS R6 Mark III exists and is beyond early prototype stages. Details about exact sensor performance, autofocus improvements, or additional features are scarce, largely because Canon is likely cautious about revealing sensitive information prematurely. Sources who have access to early units are understandably careful, both to protect their professional relationships and to prevent leaks that could disrupt Canon's marketing strategy. The timeline for the R6 Mark III remains speculative. Although the camera is reportedly in the final stage of testing, this does not necessarily mean a launch is imminent. Testing usually encompasses quality assurance and performance validation, processes that can take months, depending on the complexity of the new hardware and software. Based on these stages, a realistic release window for the R6 Mark III could be in the first quarter of 2026, though Canon may announce other products in the meantime, including cameras and lens before the year ends. This uncertainty has prompted the community to scrutinize every hint, trying to separate plausible rumors from speculation. Canon Rumors' latest posts suggest that at least one significant camera announcement will occur before the end of 2025. However, it remains unclear whether that announcement will feature the EOS R6 Mark III, an updated APS-C body like the R7 Mark II or R10 Mark II, or possibly even other product lines. The repeated cycles of speculation underscore a central challenge for both journalists and enthusiasts. Information may be credible, but until official confirmation is given, predictions remain just that, predictions. Canon's potential decision to use the 32-megapixel C50 sensor in the R6 Mark III makes strategic sense. By leveraging a sensor already developed for cinema cameras, Canon can offer high-resolution stills alongside impressive video capabilities without incurring the costs of developing a completely new sensor from scratch. The inclusion of this sensor would allow oversampled 4K capture, improving video sharpness, dynamic range, and color fidelity. Such an upgrade would be particularly appealing to hybrid creators who require high-quality stills and video from a single camera. Market positioning also plays a key role in Canon's strategy. The EOS R6 Mark III is expected to compete against Nikon C6 Mark III and other high-end full-frame mirrorless cameras by boosting resolution video capabilities, and potentially other internal components, Canon could reclaim dominance in the mid-tier full-frame segment. However, pricing and release strategy remain unknown variables that will ultimately determine the camera's market impact. 
One recurring challenge in following these rumors is the scarcity of verifiable information. Canon Rumors notes that someone they know personally has access to the camera, but they do not share specifics to avoid putting this individual's relationship with Canon at risk. This is an important reminder of the delicate balance between insider knowledge and public speculation. Even when credible information exists, journalists and rumor sites must navigate confidentiality concerns carefully, which often results in fragmented and cautious reporting. The broader question is how Canon will prioritize its releases across multiple camera lines. In addition to the R6 Mark III, Canon has the R7 Mark II, R10 Mark II, and possibly even updates to the R50. Deciding which products to release first involves balancing market demand, production schedules, and competition from rival brands. Until official announcements are made, enthusiasts are left guessing, which contributes to the cycle of repeated rumors. For photographers and videographers, the potential of the R6 Mark III is tantalizing. A higher resolution sensor, improved video capabilities, and possibly other refinements could make it an ideal hybrid tool for a wide range of creative professionals. The combination of Canon's proven color science, ergonomic design, and potential feature upgrades would strengthen its position as a versatile all-in-one system. Hybrid creators, in particular, are likely to welcome the prospect of a camera capable of producing both detailed stills and cinematic quality video. Despite all the speculation, one practical takeaway is that Canon appears committed to maintaining momentum in its mirrorless lineup. Even if the exact specifications of the R6 Mark III remain uncertain, the fact that the camera exists and is being tested indicates that Canon is actively preparing for the next generation of full-frame offerings. With APS-C updates also in the pipeline, Canon is signaling a dual approach, refining high-end mirrorless while supporting broader market segments. In conclusion, the Canon EOS R6 Mark III represents a cautiously exciting prospect. While details remain scarce, the camera is reportedly in testing, suggesting that a release in early 2026 is possible. The inclusion of a 32-megapixel sensor, improvements in video capture, and ongoing refinements in performance and usability make it a potential standout in Canon's mirrorless lineup. For photographers and hybrid creators, the R6 Mark III may offer a balanced combination of high-resolution stills, advanced video, and reliable ergonomics, continuing Canon's tradition of producing versatile and competitive full-frame cameras. Until Canon makes a formal announcement, much of what we know will remain speculative, but the pieces of information available indicate that the EOS R6 Mark III is a genuine next step in Canon's mirrorless strategy, a camera worth watching closely in the months ahead.